Hey everybody, what's going on? I got two guitars over here on the counter right now. One of them I just did with the buffer, which is the Red Ibanez, with the quilted maple top. And the BC Rich over here, I don't know if you guys remember or followed the videos on the BC Rich, but the BC Rich was in really, really bad shape when I first got it. A lot of real deep scratches. Um, some of them I was able to get out, some of them I wasn't able to get out, but uh, in the long run it came out really, really nice and I was really happy and surprised on how well uh, it polished out by hand. So this is going to be a little bit of a comparison here. Now, the bad thing is you're looking at a dark color compared to a lighter color, and it's really not too fair because a darker color shows a lot more imperfections in it than a lighter color would, especially when polishing sanding and everything else but when you look at the bc rich other than the glares black is black and when you hand rub something with after sanding it it's really hard to get the black to come out as as black as you can get it to come out and the reason why is because it's a dark color and it'll look like kind of like a hazy look to it instead of having um, a nice clear reflection it's a pain in the ass to try to hand rub something like that. Now, this one here was machine polished, and you can see the reflection on it really, really well. This one here, uh, other than the back, because the back of it's black, uh, you can't really see too much of a reflection on it. I mean, it's there, but... So let me start at the top. And as you can see, everything got a nice, full polish other than the glare and following the lines and everything else uh there is no fogging or scuff marks or anything else that's on here so let me turn both of these guys around so if i turn this one around first I'll kind of get it to stay hopefully yeah it's kind of a pain in the ass to get these guitars to stay in one spot all right so maybe i got this one balancing Let's turn the BC Rich around. Now, as you can see in the BC Rich, again, other than the glare that's going on from the lighting in here, you could read my shirt or see my shirt, and let me move my camera out of the way. You could see me really well. And the same thing in this one here. And this one here was all hand rubbed. So let me get a different angle on these two to see how this is going to work. So I have the BC Rich laying down on the counter now. And now you can kind of get a better idea of what black is supposed to look like after doing a polish, well, after doing a sanding and a polish. And the reflection and glare that's coming from the lighting. That's what you want. That's what you are looking for when you're polishing something. Especially if you had to do a sanding on it and then had to rebuff or sand or polish or whatever using the rubbing compounds. Now, this one here, the only thing different on it is it was hand rubbed. But I used the same rubbing compounds and basically just a microfiber cloth. So if I flip this puppy around... You get all the reflections from everything, just like if it was buffed out. No scratches. Everything came out really, really nice. So when you do the steps with the sandpaper, starting with your coarse and working all the way up to your lighter paper, which in my case was a 3,000 grit sandpaper. That 3,000 grit sandpaper makes it really, really easy to polish out black. And black is the hardest thing to polish out because it wants to fog on you. Um, there's, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it, instead of on, on camera, black won't look black. It'll have like a gray to it. It won't have that deep black look. Now, this is a transparent black because you can kind of see the wood through here a little bit, but never to get less. So that's what hand polishing can do, too, if you follow the steps with the sandpaper. 
and uh, the sandpaper makes a big difference. Uh, number one, going from an aggressive to a real, real fine grit sandpaper. That fine grit sandpaper is the one that's going to help you polish something out by hand. Not only polish by hand, but also polish with a buffer. In fact, it makes it a lot easier to polish with a buffer. All right, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Go hang this guy back up again.